Our next question is a really interesting one. Why is the moon not a planet? And interestingly, if you were going back 400 years ago, you probably would call the moon a planet. Because back then, before we came up with our modern understanding of the solar system, anything that moved against the background stars was called a planet. And so the moon was considered to be a planet. And at that time, planet just meant a wonder or something that moved against the background stars. Nowadays, though, we have a much stricter definition of what a planet is. And we have other kinds of objects we have names for, things like moons. Planets, in order to be a planet, have to do three things. They have to go around a star, or the sun in this case, our sun is a star. They have to be spherical or nearly spherical in shape, like a ball, as their gravity overcomes the strength of the material they're made from. And they also have to be able to clear their orbit of other debris. They have to be able to throw debris away and clean up after themselves. In our solar system we have eight objects that meet all those criteria and they're the planets. You have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. You then have a group of objects that are almost planets but not quite. We call them dwarf planets. And these are things that go around the Sun and are big enough to be spherical but they aren't big enough and aren't massive enough, they don't have enough material for their gravity to be strong enough for them to clean up after themselves. And we have probably hundreds of dwarf planets, but a few that we know for definite, including Ceres and Hygieia in the asteroid belt, and Pluto, Eris and Haumea and Makimaki, and Sedna probably, beyond the orbit of Neptune. And there'll be more that are found and more that are confirmed in the coming years. Then we have another type of object entirely. We have moons. And what makes a moon different to a planet is that a moon doesn't go around a star, but it goes around a planet instead. So in the case of the moon, the moon goes around the Earth. Or more strictly, the Earth and the moon wobble around their common centre of gravity. A bit like two people sitting on a seesaw, one who's really heavy and one who's really light. The heavy one sits near the pivot, the light one sits far away and they balance. So the Earth makes a very small wobble, and the Moon makes a very big wobble. So we say for simplicity that the Moon goes around the Earth. And that's why the Moon isn't a planet. The Moon isn't a planet because instead of going around the Sun, it goes around the Earth. In all other ways, it would be a planet. It's big enough to, for its gravity to make it spherical, and it might just be big enough to clean up after itself, but maybe, maybe not. But because it goes around the Earth rather than the Sun, it's a Moon, not a planet.